What is Continuous Glucose Monitoring? Continuous Glucose Monitoring, or CGM, involves wearable technology that can continuously track your sugar levels throughout the day. It involves a small disposable sensor that is inserted under the skin, typically on the stomach or arms. The sensor checks the sugar levels and transmits the results to a connected transmitter. A receiving device can then receive this information from the transmitter. These readings can be read by the patient, a caretaker, or the doctor, even from a distance. CGMs are always working and recording your sugar levels. Yes, that includes when you are showering, exercising, or sleeping. How does CGM work? When the continuous glucose monitor sensor is inserted into the skin, it will be in contact with the fluid between your cells called interstitial fluid. The sensor measures the sugar levels in the interstitial fluid and sends this information to the transmitter. The transmitter then wirelessly sends this data out to the reader or your smartphone. Advantages of CGM CGM gives you more insight into your condition. By measuring your sugar levels every few minutes, you can see how your sugar levels change over time. This can help you and your doctor better understand how your food, physical activity, as well as stress or illness, impact your sugar levels. CGM can help to personalize your care. Your doctor can review your CGM data and look for patterns and trends. They can then personalize your care based on what they learn from your data. CGM can alert you to highs and lows. Most CGM devices can alert you when your sugar levels rise or fall beyond a certain threshold. You or your caregiver may be able to make adjustments quickly to treat the sugar levels before they lead to problems or complications. CGM means fewer finger stick checks. CGM devices measure sugar levels through tiny sensors beneath the skin. This reduces the need for checking blood sugar levels via traditional blood sugar monitoring. Limits of CGM Accuracy The CGM sensor measures the sugar levels in the interstitial fluid between your cells. With CGM, this sugar level calculated may not always match actual blood sugar levels. The CGM may show lower sugar levels than actual blood sugar levels. You may still need to measure your blood sugar level via traditional finger stick methods occasionally for the most accurate results. Cost. Depending on the model, most CGM sensors will need to be replaced about every seven days. This can be a significant sum for many people. Now that you know about continuous glucose monitoring, watch our next video to learn how to use your continuous glucose monitor. You can watch the rest of the videos in our playlist here. Visit Medical Channel Asia for more Asian health information and news at your fingertips.